you know? And it's not something that you're, you have to, you know, you need something to do, but because you're, you're being, you're expressing your beingness, the state happens, and it's usually because you're expressing what you're here to do, and it comes out naturally, and uh, it's nothing that has to do with, like, you know, like, loving something, like, uh, as a, like, you know, if you fall in love with somebody, usually people are crushed when that love is not returned back, and that's their emotionality, but when you actually experience, like, true love as a state, you, it's like knowledge, you, it's revealed, and it's, it's something that you recognize that you love about yourself, that is projected back to you, you know, through the world, of, because of who you are, so, in regards to, like, like information overload, um, you know, there's all this stimuli happening, but when you get really clear with, like, who you are, then it becomes obvious, like, where you need to go in terms of the next step, and it sort of, like, happens on its own. It's, uh, at a certain level, I say that the decision decides itself. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's, it, yeah, the, the, infor the, the appropriate information or it comes to you as a result of your intention, a result of your beingness. And I'll, I'll give you a simple example to try and experience. We'll talk about what happened to me the other day. Yeah. So, um, I, you know, I wrote, wrote some books recently, and I want to, you know, my intention is to get them out into the world and onto a broader base. And I was wondering, you know, how do I do this? How do I possibly get this down, you know? Uh, how do I get this information so that it gets out there? What, what is the exact step? Because, I mean, I came from a background of being an athlete, and as a bodybuilding champion, I could control all the parameters. I knew, you know, I had to do this many weights, and I had to eat this much food, and I trained this many times. So it was a very, very controlled kind of experience until my last contest, which was totally right out of the thing, but that's a whole other story. But then I recognized... I didn't, I didn't, the difference between the two, right, of, of, of the expression of just who you are. So, I was thinking about how do I get this book thing, and I was thinking, you know, I remember one time I used to just focus on these things, and these things would just, you know, I just knew exactly what to do, but this is a whole new field that I'm in, right? So, how do I make this happen? And, uh... So I was like, oh, you know, we'll figure this out. I, I have an inner confidence now that these things will happen at whatever time they're supposed to happen, and I don't really have to worry about it. I set that intention. I throw that broadcast beacon out of my beingness into my larger beingness, or what's outside my little self into my big self, and I know that signal's floating out there, and the universe is going to grant that request at some time. And so in this case, we were talking about the book. And so, anyways... This has been in the thought process for a while, and it's no big deal, but I, I thought about it a little bit, you know, periodically, more and more intensely, and, and just events had occurred that I was like, okay, I need to find out what this information is. So, totally unrelated to the topic, I decided to go out to dinner with a friend of mine. And now, I like to help her take her garbage down to the trash compactor. She does these raw food classes, it's amazing. We'll probably have her on the show one day. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and... Um, so I helped her take the garbage down. But I went to her house and we said, well, let's go eat something. Now, the garbage place where we take the garbage in her condo is on the way, basically. But for whatever reason, I said, nah, we'll, we'll come back and get the garbage. I don't even know why I did that. But it seemed okay right at the time. So we went off, had dinner, and then we came back. And I went, oh yeah, we got to get the garbage. So then we go back to her place and then go back down to the trash compactor area where it is. So we go down and pick the garbage and I go down to the trash compactor. And then sitting on the compactor is three pristine brand new magazines. Each one of those, we won't get into the magazines so much because each one of those had a certain significance in my life as well, which was really wild. And then this book here, which is a, a book called The Power of Focus by Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen and Les Hewitt. And, you know, everybody's heard of this. These are the guys that did the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. And I go, wow, this book looks really nice. It's in, this is the book. This is just a couple days ago. I mean, it's in really great condition. It looks like it just came off the store shelf, right? And wouldn't you know, 
and I, I just started looking at it, and on page 19, so only 19 pages in, I'm looking at this, and here is the exact strategy that, uh, you know, Jack and Mark used. They interviewed all the top uh, writers in the world, and this is the strategy laid out exactly what they did to sell over 50 million books. Okay, these guys sold 50 million books, and they put the strategy down in, like, two paragraphs. How did that happen? Like, now, I'm not saying that that's what I'm going to do, or I'm going to have to take that order, you know, we're going to see what, what, what transpires. But the bottom line is, is the information I exactly needed, that what I requested, based on the quality of my request, showed up out of the blue. It's show, this brand new book is sitting on the trash compactor. So, so think of the events that occurred. You know, I put this thing out, I go to dinner, uh, I, I don't take the trash when I should, you know, maybe the books weren't there before, I come back, I take the trash down, here's the books, and then I had the presence. The key was I had the presence to not look at those books as trash. Because somebody threw these books out. <laughs> Remember, somebody bought these books and got rid of them. Maybe they didn't like them, maybe they were done with them. But for some reason, they didn't throw them in the trash, they set them on the trash. So, in other words, in my belief, universal consciousness not only got the message I sent out, it lined me up to take the right sequence of events, put the time here, you, got, you can't come down to the trash compactor now, you've got to go for dinner. Then we, it even had the trash to go down there, and then I had to get that and come back down and meet my friend and go out in here, and then I had to see the books and look at the books and pick up the books and take the books home and read the books, and there's the information. And, and back even before that, these guys had to write this book. They had not only had to sell the books, figure out how to do it, write the books, make the things, do the interviews, all that stuff had to happen, and then they had to write this book to say how they did it and to demonstrate the power of focus all so I could walk down there one day and put my thing in it. Like, you see the limitation of information. There, you couldn't get these giant mega supercomputers to compute the probability of that happening. There's no, you, you, there is no probability. that You cannot solve this question with linear thinking. You cannot have enough information to figure out how this happened. You can't. And that is really the limit of information. Information will take you so far. It'll take you into the realms of science and genius and, you know, the great minds. Well, I don't have that great of a mind. And, you know, I'm, I'm not smart like Einstein. I'm not one of those guys, right? But what <laughs> I be smart, though. <laughs> what, I do, I, what I do believe, what I do believe, though, is I believe in a power greater than myself. I believe in infinite consciousness. I look up into the sky, and I love those pictures of the universe. And there's billions and billions and trillions of stars and light coming at us from millions of years and things that haven't even got to us and all this stuff. And I go, wow, all this is working. It's all working. The sun's going around, the planets are like, it's all working. I can't figure all this stuff out. I don't need to. But I can tell you what, I can enjoy a flower. The flower has a scent, and I can smell it, and I can even enjoy the flower. So somewhere, something, somehow, it's all working out. And I just got to align with that field and trust. And I think today, in the, the propagation of information or disinformation or marketing or hooks and all that sort of stuff, we've lost the trust in ourselves. We've lost the trust in other people. And then instead of focusing on the truth, and the focusing on the wisdom and a focusing on the on that the answers are already there because you couldn't ask the question if it didn't already exist. Right? But that's what we gotta trust. That's what we gotta find. And I think that's what you represent, Tom, right? You you really mastered that aspect of mm -hmm. you know, is that something you want to add to that, or do you want to clarify that on any level? Yeah, it's just uh, interesting because uh, what you guys are going through right now, and I've, I've experienced it myself just learning about internet marketing, but it, it took me to a place where it just got really chaotic, it got real crazy, a lot of information overload, trying to learn new technical skills, trying to keep up with like everything that's happening. I, 
the moment, you know, if everybody's just coming up 